It's The Real Deal, and today we're gonna to discuss today's real estate market explained through four key trends. year, one thing is clear, the current real estate market is one for the record books. The exact mix of conditions we have today creates opportunities for both buyers and sellers. Here's a look at the four key components that are shaping this unprecedented market. A shortage of homes for sale. Earlier this year, the number of homes available for sale fell to an all-time low. In recent months, however, inventory levels are slightly starting to trend up. The latest monthly housing market trends report from Realtor.com says, quote, in June, newly listed homes grew by 5.5% on a year-over-year -year basis and by 10.9% on a month-over-month -month basis. Typically, fewer newly listed homes appear on the market in the month of June compared to May. This year, growth in new listings is continuing later into the summer season, a welcome sign for a tight housing market. In Sarasota County, for example, we are still seeing a shortage of homes. We only have seven weeks supply of inventory for single family homes. There is good news for buyers who crave more options. But even though we're experiencing small gains in the number of available homes for sale, inventory remains a challenge in most states. That's why it's still a seller's market, giving homeowners immense leverage when they do decide to make a move. Buyer competition and bidding wars. Today's ongoing low supply coupled with high demand creates a market characterized by high buyer competition and bidding wars. Buyers are going above and beyond to make sure their offer stands out from the crowd by offering over the asking price, all cash, and or waiving some contingencies. The number of offers on the average house for sale broke records this year, and that's great news for sellers. The latest confidence index from the National Association of Realtors says the average home for sale receives five offers. For buyers, the best way to put a competing offer together is by working with your local real estate professional. That agent can act as your trusted advisor on what terms are best for you and what's the most appealing to the seller. Home appreciation. The competition among buyers is driving prices up. Over the past year, we've seen home price appreciation rise across the country. According to the most recent home price index from CoreLogic, national home prices increased 15.4% year over year in May. Quote, the May 2021 HBI gain was up from the May 2020 gain of 4.2% and the highest year over year gain since November 2005. Low mortgage rates and low for sale inventory drove the increase of home prices. Rising home values are a big part of why real estate remains one of the top sought after investments for Americans. For potential sellers, it also means it's a great time to list your house and maximize the return on your investment. A rise in home values and equity. The equity in a home doesn't just grow when the homeowner pays their mortgage, it grows as the home's value appreciates. Thanks to a jump in price appreciation, homeowners across the country are seeing record-breaking gains in home equity. CoreLogic recently reported, quote, homeowners with mortgages, which account for roughly 62% of all properties, have seen their equity increase by 19.6% year over year, representing a collective equity gain of over $1.9 trillion, and an average gain of $33,400 per borrower since the first quarter of 2020. That's a major perk for households to leverage. Homeowners can use that equity to accomplish major life goals or move into their dream homes. Ladies and gents, here's the bottom line. If you're thinking of buying or selling, there's no time like the present. Let's get together and talk about how you can take advantage of the conditions we're seeing today to meet your home ownership goals. That's all we've got time for today on this episode of The Real Deal. 
As always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. It will mean the world to me, and we'll see you next week.